the name of Jesus. This evening, this is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you one more time. Today I greet you in our name than in the name of Jesus. The title of my message to you today is Weapons of War. My message is taken from Isaiah chapter 54, verse 1 to 17, and my reference is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. Sing, O barren, thou that is not here, break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spear not lengthen thy coats and strengthen thy skin. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not thou, shall not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. For thy maker is thy husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth shall be called. For the Lord has called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou was refused, said thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the Lord thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wrong with thee no rebuke thee. For the mountain shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord, that have mercy on thee. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of a gate, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. And great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together. But not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created a smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, 
and are bringing forth an instrument for his work. And I have created a waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And the righteousness is of me, said the Lord.
these experiences can bring on damaging after effects. But I came to remind you in Psalm 127, verse 20 say, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. In verse 7 of Isaiah 54, we see God is still great in mercies. Keep praying. In verse 8, but with everlasting kindness, I would like to read verse 8 one more time in a little rough. I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the Lord thy Redeemer. Hallelujah. situation and circumstances seems as the waters of Noah unto you. God's promises are true. In verse 9, for this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be angry with thee, nor rebuke thee. In verse 10, God's prophecy by Isaiah to the church, don't worry. I said don't worry. God's covenant of peace is still available. In Isaiah 26, and verse 3 says, that thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. In Isaiah 54, and verse 10, for the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord that have mercy on thee. In verse 11, he calls the church, O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, it means a storm, and not comforted. Behold, I will lay stones with fair colors, and lay the foundation with sapphire. In verse 12, and I will make thy windows of a gate, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy waters of pleasant stone. It talks about the crystal and all the precious stone. Verse 12 speaks about restoration and the ladder glory. In verse 13, it speaks about your generation. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In verse 14, it speaks about security. In my unrighteousness shall thou be established, Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. In verse 15, it speaks about the defeat of our enemies. And in verse 16, it speaks about weapons of war. Verse 16, God is saying to the church, Behold, I have created a smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster, meaning 
name the destroyer to destroy. God knows how to take care of our enemies. And in verse 17, it says that no weapon, any weapon could be an evil tongue, it could be a tongue of violence, it could be a lying tongue. But the Bible says in verse 17 that no weapon, meaning any weapon that is formed against us, shall not prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against us in judgment, we shall condemn. This is our heritage, and every heritage of the servants of the Lord, and our righteousness is of God, said the Lord. Today, I would like to pray in my conclusion, a prayer for salvation and a prayer for deliverance. Today, I want to say to you, whatever you're going through, God knows how to take care of our enemies. Today, I would like to pray a prayer for salvation and a prayer for deliverance of every kind. Father, I come to you today in your name and in the name of Jesus. I'm praying a prayer for salvation for all those who need salvation, Holy Spirit. I pray that you will convict the heart of every man, every woman, every boy and every girl who needs salvation today. I pray a prayer also for deliverance, whether it's your people or those who are ungodly and need deliverance today. I pray a prayer deliverance, I pray a prayer breakthrough. I pray that the mercy of God, the grace of God, the peace of God, the righteousness of God will go before your people everywhere today and all those who need your mercy, your grace, your peace, your truth, your everlasting kindness today. I pray all these mercies in your name that in Jesus.